By the 1990s, most networks consisted of a simple hierarchical arrangement in which multiple shared media networks were connected by a router. With their sophisticated packet handling, routers allowed communication between networks when necessary, while effectively segmenting traffic so that large shared networks were not overburdened by excessive traffic. Unfortunately, routers tended to be expensive, complicated, and slow because their processes were controlled by software. As the need for faster networks emerged, a new solution was needed. Switches spearheaded the next evolution of network design. Instead of having shared bandwidth among devices as in a routed network, switches allow each device to have a dedicated connection to the network. This greatly increases performance while reducing cost and complexity. However, removing the router also removes the hierarchical design of a network, otherwise known as having a flat network. Flat networks do not scale very well due to the increased amount of broadcast traffic. VLANs solve the problem of a flat, switched network by segmenting a switched network into multiple broadcast domains. As networks have grown and traffic has increased, administrators have been forced to segment their networks into more and more switched subnets to meet increasing performance demands. With these changes, broadcast and multicast traffic have placed a greater burden on network bandwidth. In the worst-case scenario, broadcast traffic can spiral out of control, creating broadcast storms that can bring down the network. Using VLANs offers an effective solution to overworked routers and broadcast storms. VLANs allow administrators to segment the network with a hierarchical structure. Using VLANs, you can group switch ports and their connected users into logically defined communities of interest. The advantage of VLANs over the router-centric model is that VLANs allow the segmentation to happen dynamically.